Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. In today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about the Tetrix Prime gussets. Now these are part of the Tetrix Prime structure family. Uh, they are used to make connections between the beam elements. And the advantage of these, or the common purpose for these, is to create, again, a very strong connection with this diagonal piece that you have there. They become a very relevant connection piece between elements. They have three different sizes. I have a 90 degree, I have a 60 degree, and I have a 120 degree gusset. They're available in parts packs or they're also available as part of the expansion set. Uh, again, a typical use for those, and I'll show you in a robot, is what I have right here. I've used these in several different ways on various parts of the robot. I have them as structural pieces. I have a 60 degree back here. I have a 90 degree connection right here, and I have the 120s that are used in the front. And then I also have, a, as a pivot underneath, I'm using the 120 degree gussets to create my pivot point that allows that arm to come out, pivot out, and then pivot back up out of reach. So they become very versatile in their uses as such. Um, the advantage of these are, again, the fact that they make a very strong connection. They're aluminum. They become, again, a very uh, strong component in the system with your other aluminum components. They're going to connect the same way with quick rivets or uh, screws. They will connect with Max because the hole pattern is the same Tetrix hole pattern, so it matches with Max as well as Prime. An important thing to remember because these are part of the Tetrix Prime ecosystem, that means they're also a part of the Tetrix Max system. So if you're using Max in a competition and it is an approved or an allowed building system, then these also by default become an approved or allowed piece in that because they're part of the Tetrix ecosystem. So that's important to you to remember. Um, a a typical use, something that you might not typically use these for, is the fact that again you have a specific shape here um, that can be used as a decorative element. If you remember our Frankie bot, uh, we have several of these that are a, a part of him that become a decorative element. Or the fact that again because of the specific shape, for instance in a 60 degree um, element, if I put two of those together, um, I particularly could make a hook type of a device. So again, just by their nature of their shape, they could be used for something that would be atypical. So things to watch out for. Keep in mind that I have a full two millimeter thickness of aluminum. So uh, although that adds a very significant amount of strength, if you're building in a uh, vertical direction off the top of this, remember that I've added two millimeters of thickness that could impact my hole spacing. So keep that in mind as something to uh, watch out for. Again, the hole pattern is the Tetrix hole pattern. So make sure that you wanna use those correctly, that those holes align correctly. Uh, specific extra resources. Remember that you can always go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, there's files like CAD files or spec sheets that are gonna give you everything you need to know specifically about that particular product that's gonna allow you to use it in the best possible manner. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots and come back and see us.